Welcome to Made in Alberta and the second in our series on Riverdale Net Zero. This groundbreaking Edmonton housing project is estimated to generate more energy than its residents use over the course of a year. So how do they do it? There's a very interesting progression of technologies that we need to work through in order to get a net zero energy house. Since solar power is the most expensive option, in effect the whole house is set up to minimize the amount of solar power that we use. So the first things we do is we really look at the appliances. Appliances and mechanical systems are not only efficient, they recover and recirculate heat from outgoing air and water. And then we go and look the, at the building envelope in the house. How do we increase the insulation in the walls, in the ceiling? How do we get better windows and doors? How do we seal up the house so that it's really tight? As we learned in part one, Riverdale Net Zero is designed for passive solar heating, the next step in the progression. We also want to store the heat that comes in to moderate the temperature fluctuations in the house. So we put in a lot of what is called thermal mass in the house to absorb the heat from the sun. Active solar, or solar thermal, provides domestic hot water and space heating. And then the very final step is the solar power system. A small electric heater provides top-up heat for the coldest, darkest days of an Edmonton winter. The final step will be up to the homeowners. If they choose to buy all sorts of electrical things and leave them on all the time, then it won't be a net zero energy home. Efficiency, solar, geothermal are just some of the tools in the kit of the net zero home builder. I think that it's going to be a, a very interesting next set of three, four years as we build more of these houses and we look at the economics of all the technologies and decide which one is best. I want to thank all of you for being here today and uh, uh, especially thank the media and hope you get this information out to our citizens that these kind of things are available in our city and hopefully the builders and developers will also look at this and say hey let's create something along these lines to uh, offer this kind of option for our, our citizens. This is a particularly special house for Edmonton because it is the most northerly net zero energy house of which we know in the world. This also means that it has net zero energy emissions so we expect to be saving some 16,000 kilograms of greenhouse gas emissions per year with each side of the house. This is not just making one house, this is helping change the industry. We've been head down on this for so long uh, that it's uh, just now dawning on me that we've accomplished something pretty spectacular here. We've had help in every way imaginable, uh, much of it on a volunteer basis. And I think the fact that people of this caliber have managed to find the time and energy for this project it says a lot about the seriousness of, of climate change. CMHC has done a fabulous job of shaping the vision. It's nothing short of a blueprint for a new generation of houses, uh, of sustainable housing in Canada. To learn more about renewable energy in Alberta, visit solaralberta.ca. Join us again for more energizing Made in Alberta new energy stories.